So today we're looking at how to make a box plot in Microsoft Excel, also known as a box and whisker plot chart. So this allows you to understand the distribution of data to help you see where the average and median is and if there's any outliers in that data. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And so we have some sample average customer reviews here. And so we're gonna select that column of data and then under insert, we can either go to recommended charts or we can go to the histogram section here. And then here is that box and whisker chart. Let's go ahead and insert that. And then we'll look at setting some basic options. And then here in a moment, we'll show you how to do a box chart across multiple categories. So let's go ahead and double click on this. And then you can see some quick chart styles up here. And you may be able to find one of these that fits your needs. And that will save you some time on manually updating some of these things. You can also change colors here if you want to change the color that you like to display. You can also change the chart type from here if you want to go to another type and so forth. And so we have this weird one here. And so if we go over here and click on this plus, under these axes, we're gonna uncheck primary horizontal and it'll get rid of that. We don't really need that in this kind of chart. Another thing that you would often want here is the data labels and see those labels there. Now you can manually determine if you want one of these to not show up. For example, if you don't want this median to show up, if you double click, you can delete that and then just see those outside ones like that. Another thing you may like to do is get rid of some of these grid lines if they are a little more confusing or if we want to reinsert those grid lines and come back here. And you can also determine which ones that you would like to see there as well. Another thing you can do is update this chart title. So we could say average customer review, just like that. And then you can also determine if you want this legend to show up if we're already having a title. And so you could get rid of that there if you like. Double click and delete. And now we have a simple chart here. And this actually shows you an outlier. So if you look here, we see 1.2. And so we see the primary reviews are in this range between 3.8 and 4.3, with some ranging down to 3.5 and up to 4.6 but we have this outlier here. And so if we change this to, for example, 3.8, you can see that outlier disappears. And so this is a great way to help highlight if you have some data that is very outlying of the general. And so this could be a mistake or it could be a problem area that you need to deal with. So let's go ahead and jump into this next one. And so here we have an example of the same data, but broken up by different departments. And so we're gonna select this data again go to insert, and then this time we'll go through recommended charts to see where we can find that. So we'll go to all charts, down to box and whisker, and then select this chart and click OK. And so we can again do this chart title here and select a chart style if we like, quickly set that. And then in this case, we may want to leave our legend entry here as it helps to quickly identify where these come from and we may still want to get rid of this horizontal axis legend and so let's go ahead and unselect that and then we can determine if we want to add those data labels however in this case it may cause a little more confusion so we can uncheck those if we like or you can also determine if you just want to show for example only the median then if you double click on these and just make sure if all of them is selected, don't hit delete or it'll delete all of them, but double click again or click again until you have just one selected. And this may be a slightly more useful display to only show the central ones there. And so one thing we may note here is this one is a very long and so if we go to data labels, we can go to data label options. And one thing we may, may want to do is determine how we want to format this. And so we may want to select a number with one decimal place. And we can X out of there. And then that makes it a little easier to tell. 
This time we can delete the rest of these real quick. And then we may want to adjust these as well. And so if we go to Label Options, Format Data Label, and then select our number here with one decimal point. And we'll click over here and do the same thing. And now we have a better comparison in seeing that our average for sales is 4.1, customer service 4.1, IT is slightly higher at 4.2. And we do see that there's a slight skew upwards. There's some a little higher. And on sales, we have some that are a little lower. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope that helps you to see how to use box plots to troubleshoot common issues and explore advanced techniques to understand your data better. And if you're looking for even more powerful data analysis or visualization tools, be sure to check out Coefficient and check out all that it can help you with in your projects. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.